Our next guest on Live at Five is appearing now through Sunday at the Westbury Music Fair. And each year when Don Rickles comes to town, we look forward to him being with us here on Live at Five. He always has such a good time while he's here. Uh, that's it? Yes. Thanks a million, Jack, for this big opportunity. <laughs> I swear to you, I didn't want to be on this. I didn't want to come yeah. on this thing. You made me come on, and you'll never see me again. I'm fed up. And I hope that thing shortens out your ear. What do you think of that? But thank you very really much. Really fed up with this. Nice... I didn't need it. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great to be back, Jack, yeah. especially when the guys were holding me in the hall, begging me to come on. They were out there offering you money and yeah, everything, right? Everything. To, now, it's nice here. to see you, though. Yeah, you're out at Westbury through Sunday. No, no, I'm, I'm in here for the garden show. <laughs> oh, excuse me. No, no, I'm, I'm out at Westbury <laughs> with, with Hal Linden, a wonderful singer. Yes, right. we, Westbury's about 700 miles from the city. We start out on a Tuesday to open on the well, Friday. It's a whole thing, but it's lovely out there. Well, you look good. You've lost a little weight, you were saying? You yeah, I lost about 15 pounds, you know. Got to keep moving with my kind of act. <laughs> and you got to be in shape, otherwise they come and get you. Uh, any particular kind of diet? I mean, did you find uh, something uh, special that worked for you? Or? Well, I look at my wife and I get a little fed up. <laughs> uh, no, I got a lovely wife. She just, see, I, I can't eat because we just came back from Paris and she shopped. She has a black belt in shopping. Uh, she went bananas. The woman never looked up. The bags were like this. She never looked up once. <laughs> Nothing. Just, uh, Valentino thinks she's part of the family. Uh, it was really, it was really something. It, it really was. She, she went crazy. But we had a marvelous time in Paris. You ever go to Paris? No, I don't. Do you ever never... leave your house? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, you, don't do a... much, you don't do much of anything, Jack. Just sit here with Sue going, is that train still stuck, by the way? <laughs> I mean, I watched your news last night. There's a train stuck. I mean, you made it like, you know, it was World War III. I mean, there's three people still in that car saying, fix it already. <laughs> yeah, we... That news was really, gosh, I mean, that train should be fixed. A little depressing here in New York. I... Yeah. Well, the news is really, you got firecrack stories, really. Yeah, you don't I get... saw the lineup for the rest of the show. You can take a nap. Yeah, go to sleep right after this segment. Yeah. This, but this is not exactly on fire either, you know. <laughs> I'm rolling. You're, you're doing I'm poorly. I'm dying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you, this sounds like a canned question, but you travel around the country. Do you, do you monkey around with your material based on where you're going? If you're down in Miami or in New York versus playing Vegas or the lake out Tahoe or Reno, do you change up what you do or... No, I pretty much come out, get the money, and go home early. No, I, uh, it, uh, people are people. Uh, naturally, if you work Iowa, which I don't plan to work, uh, you would change. If you played Minnesota, you know, you mm -hmm. do German fight songs. But uh, I, uh, I plan to always work in the States. So uh, when I go down to Miami, there's a lot of my people, a lot of Jewish people down there, so I sell bread. I see. And, uh, and uh, we have a good time around the country because the major gambling cities are, uh, are, are, are the people are very with it. And, uh, of course, New York is great, you know. You've never been out to Westbury. I, I came from Reno. A lot of hip people in Nevada. Oh, Reno's great. I got an uncle that is a leper. <laughs> I uh, see. <laughs> yeah, he's very yeah. ill. And uh, <laughs> I, Reno, Reno's a lot of fun. I, on Saturday night, you watch flies <laughs> die in a truck. <laughs> so it's a great town, Reno. Oh, I see. No, I got my education. You really came from Reno? How'd yes. you get this job? I, I have no idea, Don. I, you know, Jack, nothing personal, but I mean, a guy like you can't handle a job. Coming from Reno, all you know how to do is go, Moo, watch a cow die. I mean, how can you have a major show here in New York and come from Reno? You There's, con somebody. There are some newspaper columnists here that I got a cousin that, that might you. know. Yeah, he lives in Minnewaka. <laughs> What's that town? Winnemucca. Win Winnemucca. Yeah. See, you knew it. Right, right. Yes. When you hit a bell, give him a prize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you won so, the prize. It's a little Indian uh, settlement. That's a great area there. Yeah, Winnemucca. You have the governor of Jersey coming in now. Yeah, he'll be in after you. Yeah, he was outside with a canteen. <laughs> <laughs> Selling water? Yeah. Looking for water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All started in a little high school in, uh, in Jackson Heights. In Jackson Heights. No, in, in Elmhurst. In Elmhurst. Now uh, Columbia. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Uh, I went to Newtown High School, and I studied failure. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I went there. And World War II, I got a lucky break. World War II came, uh, and uh, <laughs> that got me out of high school. They sent me right over to the Philippines. And those guys are now all in Hawaii saying, "You want to play golf?" <laughs> uh, but we had a marvelous time in high school. What, what did you do during the war? During the war? Yeah. Hid. Yes. A lot of hiding. A lot of hiding. As soon as I heard one of those guys coming out of the trees, I went, ha, no trouble, no trouble. In fact, I bought toys from them. I see. Uh, yeah, selling their little things. Their little toys and so mm -hmm. forth. No, I was in the Philippines on a PT boat, a uh, motor torpedo boat. Were you in the service? Yes, I, I was. Ours? Yes, I, yes, I was. Uh, <laughs> well, I was in the service. I was in the Philippines, which is great climate. You, you hang around Manila and Lingayen Gulf and Cebu. 
and you get malaria, and you die usually. I see. <laughs> but, right. And it's about 105, and you walk around with a little loincloth, and you know, and you keep firing at anything that moves. Yeah, you know? that's the mosquito. And we had a we had a wonderful commander that said battle stations, and when we were in action, he was below decks under the covers, saying, "Keep firing, keep firing." <laughs> yeah. Holding his teddy bear. Yeah. That's well, <laughs> but, but my service days were. I, it taught me a great deal. Did you have any trouble adjusting to uh, civilian life after your time in the military? Well, I came home and I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> so, so that was a little ridiculous. But I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, which they keep it quiet. You know, Robert Redford's Jason Robots. Were you on uh, scholarship, Don? Uh, no, no, no. I just walked in and started acting. Uh, you don't get a scholarship. You pay. You got to oh, audition. I, don't I be a dumbbell. I hate a dumbbell. <laughs> I mean, read the paper, know the questions. I mean, what is this, Stump the Stars? No, no, I was just curious I mean, about so, your no, early I, And I had an audition, and the, the Academy keeps it quiet that I'm a member. You know, Spencer Tracy went there, Kirk Douglas. I'm sort of the Pinky Lee of the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. They like to keep it low-key that I went there. Well, but I studied as an actor, and now I'm a very successful nightclub comedian that's on a very poor show. <laughs> well, not to prolong your suffering, your time is up, so you can go Oh, now. darn it, I thought it was going to be an evening. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Jack, it's always good to see you, and they don't wear anklet socks anymore. <laughs> uh, so don't worry about it. <laughs> always nice to have Don stop by and kind of build up your ego, make you feel good. Good to see you. Good Westbury to see you, Music Jim. Fair through Sunday. Right. Take it easy. Right, <laughs>